Hello and welcome to Spring Commander Forge Alliance. This is uh, going to be a replay of a tutorial made by Tag Uber. I'm going to link up uh, the thread that contains all the replays that he's made. All these different tutorials really a great uh, resource for new players. I really encourage people to check these out. Um, yeah, if you're a new player, you basically have to go through these. It'll give you a huge advantage. You don't have to re uh, relearn everything. And before we start this one uh, thing, really quick thing, but which is a great thing, is that Season Zero uh, has started. I believe today, uh, the pilot has uh, got that going. It'll be, uh, from what I understand, only half the length of the regular season. The regular season should last about three months, and there are five leagues. So you get to really compete against players of your own caliber. It's uh, really pretty awesome. It looks like it's there's been quite a few games today. And this is really a good time to get into uh, Supreme Commander Forge Alliance. A lot of new players, a lot of good action. And uh, with these tutorials, you should uh, get some really good action. This, there's really no excuse not to get the game. So let's look at this tutorial. Actually, I haven't seen this. I expect it for good. So Certus. And uh, what Uber is doing, he, he is uh, putting links. So he's saying Certus Major is a medium sized line map separated in the middle by two masses and a civilian uh, outpost. And then if you click here, it tells you where you spawn, which is uh, self explanatory. Or you can spawn here. So it tells you yeah, there's two spawn spots for 1v1, the two mass spots, and the sieve, so three choke points. Starting base is next to a small cliff. Yeah. Uh, see, yeah, you got to get these rocks. It's really critical. You got to get these rocks, and that's one of the huge things. I'm actually gonna pause this on maps uh, that you're gonna play for ranked. Knowing where all the early reclaim is is a huge advantage over your over your enemy. If you if you utilize all this early mass, and you, all your enemy does is just work with the mass extractors, you're gonna get a huge advantage. Yeah, so that's also very important. Uh, the cliff, you can't get on top of it just by walking. You got to go around. Yeah, so that's 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 an important part in this map. You can build from below. So you're showing that. Uh, yeah, this is an important mass spot. Yeah, so you can either build some factories up on top here with the ICU or up on top with an engineer that gets this. Yeah, you got to get the, one of your first engineers. You got to get those mass spots. And you can also get down here. There's also a lot of reclaim. That's exactly what he said. Oh yeah, and of course it's a great place to drive. Usually there isn't any radar coverage in the back here. So if you can sneak some uh, drops around the side, start a, start a base. So you'll be, especially back here. There's almost never any scouts down here. Here you might get found out. So near the middle. Uh, So this is basically so it's a two v two map. So this this expansion is huge. You want to hold on three mask tractors and uh, the seven very huge. Yeah. So this is this is the main. This is a really important choke point. You got to control that choke point. That way you can uh, protect your expansion. You want to put radar right here. Yeah, that is radar that will prevent any kind of drops which is we just talked about here. Of course it's all symmetric, it's all similar up on top. So good stuff for Mubu so far, you gotta get radar here, prevent drops, and if your enemy doesn't get radar, go ahead and drop. Let's see what else he's gonna say. Yeah, two point defenses and a T3 quantum gateway, yep. See, you, you got to get to this before your enemy does. Yeah, a lot of times whoever gets this wins the game for sure in Certus. Yeah, when this when enemies run you over over here, and uh, same thing. If you can keep going. Uh, this is really the enemy territory now, these two places.
that is a very good place for Raider and also anti-air is really good here. Point defenses. Yeah, so in, in near the mountains on this map you gotta get those rocks. All very important information. That's definitely true on a lot of maps you can stay at tech one here. You wanna always be power spamming. Yeah, definitely. Air control, that's also good. But of course, when you're watching these replays yourself, you can watch it all at your own place, your own pace. But so far, it's just really good information about the map, what you should focus on, the different places. Yeah, this is a popular place to drop, for sure. We've seen many drops against Voodoo by Lucian in this position. Yeah. The yeah, factories in the back, I already said that, but yeah. These are common strategies on this map. But of course the radar that uh, Voodoo suggested would counter that. Yeah, double click the name, let's see the build order. Uh, these are excellent, I have actually not seen these, this is excellent. For five minutes into it, good information, now build order. Looks like he's going three P gens. And you can see how he moves his ACU. He doesn't just move directly to the mask structure. And he's going with five P gens and he's gonna get second land factory up on top. Yeah, this is very good. Next important thing is what he does with engineers, of course. You get the hydro or the mask structures and you got the rock reclaim. Those are the different choices. And so he goes with a scout first. Very good on this map because their early bomber is uh, very popular. So you can get that scout out there so you can see the early bomber early on. Looks like first two engineers and then a group mech marine and uh, scout. So two mech marines and a scout is a classic attack group. So it looks like first NG. That's kind of interesting how uh, Uber changed the build order in the middle of this one. He went to four pigeons which means he might have some power problems. Not really sure why he did that, but this is the first engineer he has. He got both mask structures, two more, and then he, he's going to go into a reclaim, the rocks that were mentioned earlier. So it looks like the reason that he didn't go with the five pigeons, because the Hydra is so close here. He's hoping to get the Hydra, but looks like so far he is almost mass stalling, but this is a very good build order for Certus. And he, he won't mass stall because he's reclaiming. This is the third engineer. He could have put it on the Hydra, that would have made him stall. But this 129 mass he reclaimed, you can see he only has 100 there. That's really good. And here's the group of mech marines coming out. Also, notice he has put this on infinite build. And here it is. This is So, in order to get up there, of course, you got to first give a move order and then give the factory build order. You can see. As long as that uh, the factory you're making is touching that orange ring, that's the range of your build. He'll be in good shape. So it looks like this engineer could have been given an attack mover. Two engineers on the hydra. You're gonna get an air factory and then a power spam. Of course, that's very important. After initial build order, one of these early engineers should go into a power spam. Also notice the pattern that uh, Uber has made. This is much harder to bomb than regular patterns, but uh, early on, if you don't need to, bo you don't have to bother with that. You can just click and drag, just get a linear pattern. And you can see how the engineers for Uber going out in different directions. Also with some protection. Although this, this engineer was a little exposed. Here he's got his air factory, making interceptors. And notice how he's using all of his mass. And in terms of power, he has a little extra because he is making interceptors here. He does have two engineers in the power zone, but he's not in a huge excess. It's a very nice power balance that he's, that he's doing. Also, notice how his groups of uh, attacking units, one in the middle, and with this, of course, he can spot the factory. It looks like he's playing with no fog. 
you'll be able to spot this uh, point defense for an artillery to kill it. Tanks and scouts, and this is the attack group. If he was playing against himself, he would have taken out this engineer, but he's not. And looks like a land factory. So you notice there's a there's a team of uh, factory builders and uh, a single engineer team for power. And you can see how when you start making factories, your power starts going down. So. So for the most part, excellent. I think I'll stop this at this point. You can watch the rest yourself, but uh, I think this has convinced you that these are excellent. And yeah, of course, early Artie going to the middle is going to get the mass. Extremely useful videos from Uber, uh, Replace for Uber. And he's got like 10 of them, uh, or probably even more. So I encourage people to check them out.